name is Hugo Burge. I'm CEO of Cheap Flights Media, which is the parent company for Cheap Flights and Mamondo. When describing Cheap Flights, I think it's worth going back to, to sort of year zero, which was 1996. So Cheap Flights and John Hatt were really a pioneer in travel search. Um, there was nobody doing this at the time. Um, and so Cheap Flights has a long heritage of, of, of being on the web and of doing something differently. And really what Cheap Flights does, it connects consumers with, with travel industry suppliers who sell product. Cheap Flights doesn't sell anything, we're a media business. And one of the first things we did in, 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 in 2000 when I joined the company was to change the business model from being a strictly classified advertising model um, where people would pay monthly fees into a pay-per-click business model. Um, so we were paying um, for, for leads generated to the travel industry. Um, and that's an extremely powerful combination. That, that, that has been the, the driver of travel media businesses growing. Um, it means it's a risk-free proposition for advertisers and, and, is, and is a performance-based model that I think the industry is very comfortable with today. So today, Cheap Flights operates under two different brands. Um, Cheap Flights Media operates under two different brands, I should say. So it's, it's Cheap Flights and Mamondo. I'll start with Cheap Flights. Um, Cheap Flights um, was born in the UK, but now we're a very international business operating in eight markets around the world. North America is actually bigger for us than the UK, and we work with hundreds of travel advertisers publishing their best deals, mainly in flights, but we also have six million newsletters where we're able to publish deals on behalf of the travel industry for cruises um, and for package holidays um, across numerous markets. Um, and really, Cheap Flights was born of, um, born of a, a classified advertising heritage. Um, so, so really, it was a reinvention of classified advertising to make it useful for consumers and empower the travel industry to better sell their product in a more effective way. Um, Momondo is quite diff different. Momondo was actually born out, originally out of Skygate, which was a business-to-business -business data company which was providing um, low-cost airline data and, and the broadest range of airfare data to the travel industry in a B2B way. Um, but out of that, the Momondo brand was born in Denmark and um, in Copenhagen. And, and we were fortunate enough to, to buy that business last year. Um, and we're very excited that Momondo's joined the Cheap Flights family. That business is a, a pure meta-search business. It's live price comparison affairs. Um, it's operating in over 15 markets around the world. It's very strong in Northern Europe, uh, and Russia is one of the fastest growing markets. So it's really um, diversified our footprint and enables us to allow travel advertisers and travel partners uh, a, a much broader spread of, of potential consumers that we can, um, help, help, we can help them to find their product. Um, so that's the cheap flight business in, in a nutshell. Today we have over 13 million visits a month to our group of websites across all the countries and, and this year we'll have generated more leads to the travel industry than ever before. Obviously we don't sell product, we try to work out just how much product we sell for the industry and we believe we generate over two, million, two billion dollars worth of travel bookings to our travel industry partners. Um, so we're meaningful, we think we can deliver sizable volumes of, of bookings and customers to our travel industry partners and we work with hundreds of travel industry partners month after month, year after year. In fact, many of our travel industry partners are still the same people that I talk to and chat to today and catch up with, the same partners we had in 2000, which, which I think is quite extraordinary. We launched, our, opened our office in, in the USA in, 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 in 2003. Um, and again, we, we grew out of cash flow into the US market. Um, there was a bit of debate actually in the Cheap Flights board, I remember it um, crystal clear. Um, and there were people who said there's just no way you can launch in the US market without millions of dollars of VC funding or backing. Um, and I'm proud to say that bootstrapping works. I think bootstrapping gives you a mentality whereby anything is possible. Um, and we started small, um, but, that's, that, that has, uh, but, but from small acons, um, you can grow great businesses. And today, the US and North American business, including Canada, is, is, is bigger than our UK business. So it's been a, a very rewarding and exciting adventure to grow in the US. I think it's pretty rare for UK companies actually to grow in the USA. Um, I think quite a lot of people trip up and fall on their nose. doesn't mean to say we haven't um, had learnings and, and hasn't all gone smoothly, but, but um, today it's a bigger business than the UK business, which has been great.